some exploring today. I've been wanting to do one of these for a while. The water clarity's totally changed from what it used to be. It was a really clear pond. And now it's like really dark. It kind of looks like tannic water in here. And I think we're gonna get on some big fish today. There's a bunch of pollen down there. Um, and I think maybe a topwater bite, some sort of frog bite is probably gonna be the go-to today. This is a small canal. It branches off into another part of the lake. And there's another small canal that you go through and it branches off into another big section of this lake today. This is gonna be a good video. If you guys are new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell, also hit the like button. Let me show you guys what we're whipping around today. Had to bring out the kayaks. Um, I got the Bonafide SS127. As you guys know, you guys don't see it as much anymore, but uh, it's time to start filming some more kayak videos. If you guys wanna see them, let me know, hit the like button. We're gonna film some more stuff like this, traveling to new areas. I love to you know, film a series just going to new places like this, and especially like a hidden place in the woods out here. I mean, look at this. We are in the straight trees out here in the middle of nowhere in the woods. And I love this. This is cool. This is really neat. We got some poles over here. I got a brand new Mach 2 right here. Just put some 17 pound fluorocarbon on that. I got one of the older Mach 2s. I got a Pro TI and then a Mach Crush right there. And uh, all the baits that we got in the kayak. So it's gonna be a fun day. I got Delton with me today too. He's got his kayak right there. Um, we're gonna be trying to get some video with him as well. But we're gonna go ahead and rig up, load in this lake right here and catch some big fish. Stay tuned. What in the world? That is not something you see every day while going and fishing. There's like some more down there, they're broken. This is gonna be like the little little driveway that we're gonna yeah. pull these kayaks through on. I think it's gonna be perfect. Just slide them right down this hill, drop them right in the lake. Dude, that sucker was going. I was, I was praying that, I was like, that thing is just gonna be out. The, you think we got two kayaks? <laughs> that thing was going. <laughs> All right. Yo. Look at this. You got a mug. Well, this is the situation that we're in right now. We got Delton just crouched, <laughs> crouched down in there. I'm gonna grab my rods. Go ahead and load them up. Go ahead and grab them. Yeah, you can go ahead and just somehow. Uh, I'm in a pickle. I can't let go of my kayak. <laughs> let me uh. <laughs> uh let, me, let me try. Mm. Uh. <laughs> Oh. Right. Well, boys and girls, <laughs> can you hold my kayak, the mouth of it? Yep. You good? Yep. You're not gonna let me drift off, are you? Nope. I got you. All right. We just made it out on this juicy looking place. Look at that creek back there. What do you think about that, Delton? That's looking, that's looking so saucy. We can't go back there. What do you mean can't go back? Oh, you crazy. We in a kayak, boy. We can get anywhere we want to be. There's a smaller creek. Now, if you think that's bad, bro, there's a tiny creek going this way after this big part to reach into the biggest part of the lake that we're going to have to go through. That's inches of water, too. I just want too. people to see how shallow this is. Look at this. That's bottom right there. It's about a foot and a half. 28 inches. Just a little over two feet. Hear that frog? <laughs> it's looking saucy. We're going to get this started, guys. I think uh, on this rod right here, I'm about to rig up a basic fluke. And then on my other rod, I'm going to rig up a frog, I believe. Um, I think he's going to feel like a topwater walking bait. I think they're going to eat the topwater in here. With how the water temp's been at all the other places I've, I've been to, especially with the boat, um, this is... This place is gonna be perfect. We'll catch them on top water today. We're just gonna to have to roam and look, and, and like I said, I don't really know how this place fishes, so it's gonna be an interesting day. We're just gonna explore, we're gonna figure out what the fish want, and, and hopefully, you know, just really catch a bunch of solid fish. I know they're in here, um, there has to be. So we're gonna to roam today, we're gonna to explore, we're gonna find some good stuff. Oh my God. Nice, Noah. Brand new line on a brand new reel, man. This thing a whip. 
thing a whip. Thinking like a fluke and a frog, maybe like some sort of crawl or like Senko. So Delton's gonna go this way into the bigger part. We're gonna go explore this little tiny small creek. It's super shallow, but I'm curious to see if there's any fish on bed. I don't know what the water temp is in here. Me and Delton came here like over a year ago. We were trying to fish it from the bank. We were kind of just looking at the place. We saw a fish that was, you know, every bit of eight plus pounds just cruising. So we know there's some big fish in here. I see some fry right there. We're just gonna, we're gonna get to work. Back here with this fluke and possibly a frog. I think it might be nasty. Look how saucy this looks. So shallow. But you know, them big girls, these largemouth guys, it's one thing, don't ever think it's too shallow for largemouth. I've learned that over the last couple of years. This... Oh no! Do I have one right away, bro? Oh, I'm in the tree, man. There we go. I'm gonna have to definitely probably retie that one. No, we're good. We are good. I just had a fish right away. That was surprising. I don't think he was big. I think it was about a pound. That was instantly. It's a good sign coming back into this shallow creek. He was in that little shade line right there next to that tree. This was a good decision coming back in this creek, I can tell you that. It goes way back here. There might be some big girls pushed up. Oh, whoa, that got a fish. I thought I just missed him. Look how skinny that bass is. Oh my gosh, that's the skinniest fish I've ever seen. But that is the monkey off her back. It's the first fish today. I thought I saw a fish behind my fluke right there. And that is one of the skinniest bass I've caught in a very long time. Wow. That's a good sign though. I just want to make sure there's fish pushed back in here. We might just keep traveling back more and more. It's hard to run this kayak in the small little canal. It keeps shifting on me. I'm not really able to, to fish this correctly as much or as productively as I'd like to. But that was the first fish today. That's a good little sign. Jacked him right out of the water. I'm gonna keep on working back here. I know there's a big mama. There's gotta be a big mama back in here. Maybe we need to pick up that frog. Guys, look at this. You're not gonna believe this. Now this is the reason why I came in the back. Look at this. I never even knew this was here. Look at all that slop on top. We should get smoked on this frog. If there's any froggy territory, this is it.
was really thinking we were gonna catch a fish back there. That honestly blows my mind. That little creek that just branches off looks so good. But we're gonna keep going and open up, fish this little opening right here where Delton was fishing. And then we're gonna start moving our way back into this other creek. And it opens up into like the bigger part of the lake. And I think that might be where some of these fish are. Cause I haven't really seen much on this side other than that little small fish, you know, had another small one bite. We're gonna keep moving, covering some water. Hope you guys are enjoying it this far in the episode. If you haven't already hit that like button, let's uh, keep going into it. I got one, bro, and I got a backlash. There's a fish on my, there's a fish on my rod, yeah. He's literally a fish on my rod right now. Watch this. You ready? Unless he spit it out. He spit it out. Oh, that's annoying, dude. He was on my rod. I like, I like felt pressure, and I reeled up, and I felt him go jig, 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 jig. Oh, that was. No, that's on a Senko. I was dead sticking it on the bottom. I don't know why I got a backlash, dude. That was weird. I like never backlash is real. I just decided to mess up way down in the spool. All right, it's time that I think me and Delton move into the bigger part of the lake. We got this little tiny canal and creek, or little canal for the most part that branches off into the other side. You know, we might fish some back in here. There could be some fish, especially stacked in the middle of it. If there's like a little drop off or a little ditch that comes through. I think that you know might not be a bad idea at all to kind of throw around some of this stuff. I'm gonna paddle a little bit through here. When I see some lay downs, I might you know start to pitch and flip and cast towards some of those things. My only thing is these fish have to be you know they got to be in that open part over here. I mean I, I haven't seen enough activity in these shallow little canals and, and creeks that lead back into these places. This is where these four wheelers are crossing. Yeah, right here, little, little four wheeler path. They've been riding. I wanna go fish this corner back here. It has like, there he is. He ain't big. He ain't big, but he had it. My dang reel about came off, dude. A little tiny guy. We just came into the new lake. The water's a lot clearer here. It's not as bad as it was in the other place. And uh, you know, got us a little old bass. First bass in this part. He is a little bit more healthier than the first one I caught. He's got a little belly on him. Not big, but like I said, we just got to keep moving. I know there's some big ones in here. We just got to figure it out. Looks like there's a bed right there. Oh, there he is. Watch him come up and eat it. Another baby. Another baby on the fluke. Another baby. Not a big end, but it's a fish. And I'm having a good time exploring this spot. These guys are tiny. I don't know how well you can see that, but there's like some pipes coming in back there. Looks freaking so saucy. There's a big one. He looks like he'd be back there. That's money. Yep. Oh, I thought I had one. I swore, I envisioned in my brain that a bass came up and ate that. That's kind of funny. 
Yes, good one. Good one. Good one. Yes. Yes, it is. It is. It is. Do not come off, baby. Do not come off. Do not come off. Do not come off. Oh my god. Oh my god. Yes. <laughs> yes. It was a fish that tried to eat it and he was following it. Oh my god. I thought he was three pounds. He's he's solid two number though. Oh my gosh, he's at upper two pound range. Beautiful fish. That is what we're looking for in this corner. Like I said, I think there's gonna be some good fish right there. Oh my god, there's a bass right there swimming. I'm literally looking at a bass right there. He saw me. Oh yes. We needed that good fish right there. Now that right there is a rewarding catch. Not quite a three pounder. But he's freaking a good fish. We're going to get him right back in the water, and we're going to keep trying to catch him. That is the sign that we need right there. You see that one, Dalton? That's a nice one. That's about three pounds. It's close to three pounds. Yeah, dude. I watched him come up and eat it. That's a, that's a good fish, man, compared to what I've been catching. That is awesome. Oh, thank the Lord. Get you right back in the water, baby. Thank you. There she goes. Now that is how we like to do it here on kicking their bass. We we caught a couple small fish. We weaved through those smaller ones. We knew there were some good ones in here. We kept fishing and we made it happen. Now, I'm gonna keep casting in this, in this pocket because I promise you, there's another fish as big as him, if not bigger. I promise you that. Something just hit right here. There's that little bass that was looking at me somewhere up on this tree. We're gonna keep casting over here. I thought I saw one eat it and then like I like kept watching my fluke and I saw just a huge freaking like dark thing behind my bait. And I paused it and he freaking ate it. Oh, oh, yes. Yes, dude, that's the second biggest. He ain't big, he's small, but that was next cast. I'll see, it's that pause, bro. You sometimes don't see the fish behind you and then when you pause it, they eat it. It's not a big one right there, but that was next cast after that good fish. Pretty guy, a little chunky. They're, they're a lot healthier in this bigger side. This is where a lot of the fish are gonna be. I can already tell with this clear water, this is a lot better. There's like a little one on bed right here. He was like looking at me. Yeah, he's right there, look, look. Yeah, I'm gonna catch him right here, watch. He's about to eat it. Ah, he ain't even worth the time. There he is. Got him, baby, baby. This is one of those places that has big fish. That's almost overpopulated with a bunch of small ones. That's exactly how this place is. I can already tell. I can already tell without not fishing it for a while. It's got a bunch of small fish, but it also has big ones. There's just so many small ones. It's got to weave through them to get those big bites. Another Twinkie. Came right out from that tree on the fluke. Gave it a little pause, a little pop. Bingo. Bingo, bingo, bingo. All right, guys, got my first fish of the day. Not a big one, but it's something. Uh, caught him right out here in the middle. It's just reeling an old Texas rig crawl. Just reeling it straight into the water. 
and uh, this little guy came up and hit it pretty hard. Came off a pretty good fight, but first one to start the day out with. Noah's got like five or six to my one, but hey, something gets the monkey off the back. We're gonna go and let her go. There she goes. I have a little surprise in this box. We're gonna open this up, see what's inside. Let's see if there's maybe something in here that help us catch those fish that are out there in the middle. Ooh, I like that. Look at that, That's something different. It's actually a yellow bag right there. I'm curious to see what's inside. If you guys want to get a discount on this, get $10 off, you can use my code. I'll pop it up on the screen. Like I said, this is a subscription box. Best company out there for the subscription box right now. You know, it's all quality products. You're not gonna get any bull crap. It's all quality. And um, let's see what's inside. I don't wanna spoil it right there. Oop. Oh my gosh. All right, so we have a speed glide. That's killer. We got a swim jig. I can I can see that coming into play today. We got a Crush 100X. You got one? Big? Jeez, dude, he's pulling. Oh, wow. Dylan's got a good one. We got a Crush Mini 25 MD, and then we got a, a Crush 50S Silent. What in the world? I'm coming, Delton. Second one, I think I found a pattern. Um, they're mainly out here in the middle of the water. I'm just taking a little Texas rig crawl and just steady retrieving it in the water, and they are hitting it like freight trains. That's the second one today, a nice solid two-pounder. I think Noah's on his way over here to steal my spot. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, he right out here in the middle. I'm just steady reeling across. crawl. They really eating it? They're really, re really eating it. I'm just steady reeling across. So look at this, Delton. I got something right here. I was just unboxing this. When you, when you caught that fish. So I got a bunch of like little crankbaits here and I was thinking like a little bluegill pattern, especially this time of year. Let me see what I got. What are you thinking about that right there? It's a Crush 50S Silent. Ooh, that looks juicy. Yeah, that's, that, that might kill it. That little square bill right there. And it dives two to five foot. So I think out there in the middle, you know, that might get it. I'm thinking, you know, you had a lot of bites where they didn't commit. Mm -hmm. Something with like some vibration. You see what I'm saying? It's moving work. fast past them. I think they're going to commit to it. Something about a crankbait too. When a bass sees it, they just want to eat it. I don't know why. It just, it just happens. So I'm going to yeah. tie this on. You can get that back. There we go. Song of one and a half, two pounder. We're going to let her go. There she goes. So much grass right here. It's inches of freaking water, probably in about five inches. Yeah, this is the end, ain't it? I mean, I'll go explore back here. I don't know if it's worth both of us going just because it's so narrow. It's so clear. Holy cow. Crystal clear, dude. Oh. Bro, it's actually dead. I can see everything. Yeah, dude. Crystal. Oh, I can easily get through it. Easily. Look at this, guys. We're coming back here. We're going deep in the jungle. Deep? Um, yeah, it's got a good bit of water here. It's actually probably the deepest right here. I'm already gonna be past. I'm probably good. Those are the type of places I really enjoy fishing that, you know, I don't get to fish much. And, um, you know, I love coming to these naturistic places like this and exploring some and, you know, finding new bodies of water and more importantly, you know, catching some big fish and, and on the hunt to search for this big fish. Look how far this thing goes. It really goes back here. We might end up coming into the mother load of fish. You never know. Maybe it's just too shallow right here and it might open up back here. And just have some deep water that you know a bunch of big fish are staged up you never know there's a bluegill swimming right there you never know what you could find we just gotta keep on coming back here
Look. That was a big bite. That was a big fish. I promise you, that's exactly how a big one bites. I was looking to... Dude, I was looking to my right. I, yep, he's, they're back here, bro. That was a big fish, too. That wasn't a small one. That's exactly how a big one eats. He sucks it down like that. Gosh dang it. I, right when I slowed it down. It took us about a mile to get back in here. Pardon the camera, guys. I'm trying to keep myself from drifting away, and Noah's paddle's about to fall in the water. 